All right, people, Max Saladin here again. Welcome back to a dollar Baldur's Gate 3 video. Going back to this game after I played some Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth, uh, just finishing up the end game. Um, I had to stop doing a like video every day on it because I was just uh, was just taking too long, and I was falling behind on all our videos. But I'm back today with this video on my fight with Raphael. Because I think it was just hilarious how stupid it was. Um, so I filled the entire boss arena with like smoke powder barrels. And fireworks from the fireworks uh, shop. Um, just completely filled this area. Every inch of it with all these explosives. Um, then I got Raphael to show up. Um, I persuaded his uh, big lieutenant guy. Or whatever you call him. Uh, who we sent here. After Raphael requested it, managed to persuade him to change sides, but he's not going to be much use because he sort of gets heavily damaged uh, in this like really ridiculous plan. Because I had tried to fight Raphael in a more normal way, and he was just destroying me because uh, I'm not that skilled at the game. So yeah, I fell to place with explosives, um, and I immediately set it off with a fireball. Um, and yeah, it kind of backfires on me here because, <laughs> oh my god, it was even bigger than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> it took out everybody and all the towers. Uh, uh, somebody survived because Gale had to use a counter spell. Um, Raphael did survive, but he took quite a bit of damage. He's down to like 500 and something HP. And one of his minions did live over there, just barely. And the guy we persuaded to come to our side, but he's like heavily damaged. Um, but yeah, this was how I kicked off my battle with Raphael to get rid of all his minions. So it was mainly just me and him. Uh, and I do try to fight him legit now for a little while. But uh, even though I have this huge advantage, um, I did lose as Tarion. Uh, he was too close to the blast, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, what did I do? Yeah, I hit him with the laughter spell from my bard. Just to give me a bit of breathing room so he would be knocked out for a few turns. But uh, I really had, I really couldn't believe how much damage I'd done to everybody else. And I didn't really have a backup plan for the blast, not like fully taking out Raphael as well. So I was a bit on the back foot here, uh, but my plan was just to muddle through it and see how it went. Uh, so started healing everybody. Normally you can't heal people because uh, Raphael, he puts a punish divine spell or curse or something on you. And anytime you use a healing magic that's divinely, uh, has divine power or whatever, it backfires on you and does even more damage. But because he never got the chance to do anything like that, um, that doesn't matter. So then I think I just tried to inflict wounds on him. Uh, takes health down a bit more. Um, if you keep atop, uh, attacking him while he's down on the ground like that, he will like get up of course. And Gale, uh, I just decided to magic muscle him a bit. Uh, Gale and the magic muscle, they will be the MVP. Of how I actually managed to defeat Raphael here. Without Gale. This whole thing would have like just completely failed. Um, it does, I do just barely make it through this. Because um, things do start going wrong here. When Raphael changes into this like even bigger demon form. Or whatever he does here. Um, things like start going wrong after this. Um. Because I didn't realize how like damaged my ally was over there. I thought he'd be able to help me a lot more. And it might make up for Azterian being taken down. Um, Gale and his counter spell of course. It's always vital as well. Uh, he really prevented some damage there. Um, and I think I again was just trying to. I was trying to heal my friend over here. But he turned himself invisible. And now he's just standing in the burning fires. And <laughs> there's not really a way to help him. Uh, it is crazy how much of this place is on fire right now. 
Yeah, just use cloated, cloated daggers to get rid of uh, Raphael's last minion and do some damage to him over there. Um, and again, I still didn't really have a good plan of how to like stop him harming me or how to like heal myself up or like put any like shields or anything on me. Because again, I am still pretty terrible at this game despite having made it this far. Like I'm probably gonna have to play like another like complete playthrough and pay a lot more attention to all my abilities and mechanics and stuff the second time. Um, my plan now was to actually like sort of get out of this room and head back to the uh, Raphael's bedroom or whatever it's called because I remembered there was a fountain in there that can cure you. Uh, or not cure you but like fully heal you and it acts like taking a long rest. And I thought it would be good to get over there as Gale so that he could get some of his abilities back. Because he's my most powerful damage dealer here to be honest. Um, so I thought it would be best if we started running away. Doing like a defensive little retreat. Um, and still doing damage to Raphael on the way out of course. Just because you don't want to waste a chance to get an attack in on him. Um... Let's see, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. I think I tried to cast, yeah, Wall of Ice. Wall of Ice becomes vital later on. But I was trying out some things here. Trying to trap Raphael in this room so he couldn't follow me. I thought this was going to be very clever. Uh, but he managed to break down this wall. Um, but later on, I sort of do the same thing. And he did get trapped in like a different, uh, different kind of way. Um... So yeah, my big buddy that I'd uh, convinced to help us, he just uh, got damaged by the fire too much there. Um, again, Magic Missile, it's so lucky that it can shoot around corners and stuff and get over the ice wall. That becomes vital to how I survive this. Um, but again, it doesn't initially go to plan here where I was just trying to keep Raphael trapped and uh, sort of damage him with like... Uh, ranged attacks or whatever um let's see yeah i'm still just trying to heal everybody up um i didn't bring carlac to this fight i normally do bring her because she's like my big massive tank and just the biggest damage dealer we have but i left her behind because uh uh, I thought it was a bad idea to bring her to Avernus or whatever the hell's uh, level of hell this is. Because uh, she just escaped from there. And I thought it might be bad to bring her here. So I brought Astarian to stealth about and steal some stuff. Uh, so unfortunately he was a bit weaker and the blast <laughs> took him out. I'm going to have to resurrect him later. Um, I was trying to put like uh, place cloud of daggers on Raphael again here um, but I couldn't see him properly or whatever because of the ice wall and I was trying to look at any other spells or anything else I could cast on him um, but I'm learning that I should probably be a wizard in my next playthrough so that I can get the abilities Gale has like magic missile and then you can just sort of trap enemies behind an ice wall and uh, just hit them with magic missile and it seems like a really effective tactic um, and just magic seems like so overpowered if you come up with like the correct way to use it um, again what was I doing here uh, yeah I was just going through shadow hearts abilities beacon of hope I was looking to see if there was anything here that would help me out um, I probably should have used Beacon of Hope that uh, makes us like heal each other fully every time we use a healing ability for a little while because that could have really helped me out. Uh, but I thought maybe Raphael was going to actually stay trapped in there at the moment so I didn't uh, didn't do it when I had the chance. I, pl I cast the Guardian spell because I thought he might run into it a little even from behind the ice wall. Uh, but he jumped up there and then he just like, I think my counter spell didn't work that time. And his blast of fire just like crumbled the ice wall. And this is where things started getting really, really out of hand. Uh, 
and like I can't I still can't believe I managed to pull this back uh, it looks like unwinnable from this position but that's what I love about this game is that even if you're like in the jaws of defeat uh, you can still snatch victory from it um, and you, if you just never give up uh, a solution no matter how stupid will eventually present it to you present itself to you if you just uh, keep cool and try to think up a plan my main plan still was to run out of here and get back to the healing fountain or whatever um, and start using that so if I could make it to the healing fountain I could restore everybody to full health um, we could cast another ice wall hopefully uh, across one of these doors and keep Raphael trapped um, because the plan it did seem to be going well until he used that blast of fire unfortunately uh, see if Gale's counter spell had worked the last time we wouldn't have been in this mess um, but yeah I guess this just had to be the way it had to go again trying to heal everybody we barely got any HP if Raphael hits us with another fire blast thing, like whatever one of us gets hit, they're just gone. I decided to uh, heal up Gale the most because I knew he was my main chance to get out of this. If there was a way out of this. Um, so I put all my efforts into healing Gale while we uh, still tried to make our retreat out of here. And again, I was just very lucky that Raphael was now on his own. And it was just him versus us. And he didn't have all his minions taking their turns. Because they would have just completely wiped us out when we had like 5 or 6 HP each there. Um, again, trying to fly and get farther uh, back to the boudoir. Um, Raphael, uh, luckily he got sort of slowed down there on that ice or whatever that's still hanging around. Again, he hits Shadowheart and uh, my main character with that fire blast or whatever. But thankfully, uh, Gale was far enough away that he managed to survive that. And I think, do I turn him invisible here just so he can escape? Uh, I noticed this Restore uh, Soul spell. And I, knew, I was reading that it was like specifically to be used against Raphael. Um... And I did see that I had this severed soul debuff thing on me. And I was trying to get rid of that. But it didn't seem to want to be applied. Um, and I also was looking for anything to like sort of heal my other party members. But they were kind of like trapped over there. And I was just going to have to abandon them. And it was like, okay Gail, it's up to you. <laughs> You've got to get us out of this man. Um... And I thought maybe if I could get him back to the thing, even solo, back to the healing, uh, the uh, healing bath or whatever you want to call it. Um, so he actually stopped to uh, take out my party or like uh, my main character and Shadowheart back there. So that kind of slowed him down a bit and again gave Gale time just to run or, or fly even further away. Um, again... I really thought there was still very little hope of anything being able to be reversed here because uh, it's now Gale on his own doesn't have a lot of spell slots left and uh, he's got barely he's not got a lot of health and Raphael like his HP pull it's like still at like 300 or 400 or something maybe Maybe he is down under 300 just a little. I can't remember at the moment. But he's he, like it's definitely not a fairly matched fight. Um, but yeah, Gale and his invisibility really helped us escape here. Um, and Raphael, at a certain point, I think he just stopped chasing us there. Because like he just lost sight of Gale. And he just stopped trying to come after us at all. Which was uh, lucky. Um, so yeah, I just kept trying to escape and head into the room. Uh, yeah, Raphael, he just stopped back there. He stopped chasing us. Um, the invisibility probably did that to him once he lost sight of Gale. Uh, yeah, we got so far away. There was like a little loading screen there where it cut to black. 
and eventually I broke out of turn based and I got back to the pool but then disaster struck and Gail was like oh I can't use this right now and I'm still not sure why because like we're not in combat anymore um, it might be something to do with that soul ren thing that's been cast on us um, but yeah I was really worried at this point because I <laughs> Gail's reaction was definitely my reaction there I'd come back to the restoration room and I couldn't use it um, so I decided there was nothing left to do but sort of sneak back to where Raphael is and let, let's see if we can maybe uh, maybe do some stealth damage to him if I can get him with the correct spell in the back while he's surprised maybe I can just about do enough damage um, so yeah he was still just waiting here um, I was worried about walking too close to him but yeah luckily got past him got back to the initial room where it all kicked off Asterian still burned over here. Uh, sorry, man, but you were a sacrifice that had to be made. Uh, my big buddy over here, he's also knocked down. And here's all the debris from the thing. Uh, so I went into my menus trying to look for something that could get me out of this. Looking for any spells or potions or just anything I had. Um, and then I eventually noticed this here. Uh, long rest potion or whatever it is where it puts you to sleep and it basically restores some of your uh like abilities and magic so i knocked out i knocked out gale with this potion uh let him restore himself uh get some spell slots back and then i was like okay maybe i can take him out with one of my best spells here if i sneak up behind him um, and I also, I was going to try the ice wall thing again. Uh, so I just tried casting the ice wall across this door so he couldn't get in here to attack me. Um, and he didn't notice I was doing that. And then I was thinking maybe I could lock the door uh, and cast magic through the door or something like that. Um... But yeah, that wasn't really going to work. So I had to, I think I just opened the door again here. Oh no, I tried to arcane lock it. And then uh, I thought I was going to be able to like maybe shoot the magic missiles through the door or something stupid like that. Maybe I could glitch my way through it. But Raphael, he was just sitting there. My character was just sitting there. Um... Uh, yeah, I thought magic missile, maybe because it's magic it can fly through the door. But yeah, that wasn't going to work. So I think I uh, I tried a few more things, trying to see if anything could like hit him through the door with like blast radius damage or something like that. Um, but yeah, eventually I realized I needed to reload and I needed to just rethink this a little uh, because Raphael, he did seem to be stuck out there. Like, he wasn't blowing up the ice wall this time. Um, so I was a bit curious about that. I was thinking, maybe this time he's not going to destroy my ice wall. And if I could just reload this and try again. Leave the door open. Um, don't lock myself in here like an idiot. Um, I think I did that because I was just panicking that I... Like survived this long against Raphael um, so I don't know what I was doing in here just trying to run down time to see if Raphael ever like attempts to break the ice wall or something and again he just didn't he just stood out there um, we kept passing turns uh, and I was like okay so he clearly he's got no intention of coming in here or doing anything like that so I decided better reload this um, and I'll just try again this time. Uh, so I got back into combat with him. Uh, I cast my... Uh, I was thinking about casting a firewall this time. Seeing if that would... I think he can just run through a firewall though. So uh, I backed down from that idea I think. And I was just like, no, nah, let's stick to the ice wall plan. Uh, yeah, I was having trouble finding the ice wall. 
yeah there we go and I just sort of cast it at about the same position where it seemed it like sort of stun locked him or just made him trapped out there I don't know why this time he wasn't firing his uh like flame fireball or whatever it was that destroyed my first uh my uh first uh, attempt at trying to trap him and i decided right i've restored some spell slots it's time to magic missile this guy um and that was doing a fair bit of damage to him so yeah he he does he does nothing on his turn he just seems to be trapped the ice wall has done something this time where he's just like oh looks like there's nothing i can do even though i'm made of fire i can't melt this wall I'm just going to stay out here, uh, talk nonsense, uh, just let Gale magic missile me uh, until I die. <laughs> and I just, I couldn't believe this was working. It was like, it was like some sort of miracle that I'd figured this out. Um, and that Gale, solo, by himself, had managed to survive what looked like an unwinnable situation. And it's just proof that even the biggest idiot in the world can defeat one of the hardest bosses in this game because the mechanics are so open and the game just never tells you uh no you can't do that that's that's unfair that's such cheating no you have to play this the way we designed it to be played the larian they just never do that to you and this is probably one of my favorite moments in the history of rpgs when i got through this fight because it happened all so naturally and in like an organic way uh, through my own like random ideas and stupid plans and it just proved to me that Baldur's Gate 3 I think it might actually be just the best RPG ever made and it's this moment that really sold that idea to me so thanks for watching people and I'll see you again next time with another video